So an average day for a, a ferry master is he'll come in the morning or come in the afternoon and um, we tend to have a handover. Um, sometimes that's a written handover or it's a verbal handover which informs us if there's any issues with the vessel and what sort of things that we need to take into consideration so we've got the weather that we'll look out for, we've got the tide once everything's all secure and then pull off and because it's the first crossing what I'm going to do is do a radio check and inform that we've had a crew change So I come from a maritime background so my father and my grandfather and great grandfather all served in the merchant navy so they always sort of grew up on boats and ships so it was sort of the thing I've always wanted to do and it's always been sort of like a childhood dream of always become like a skipper of a vessel so to be able to, to drive the vessel or helm, helm the vessel you need what's called a boat master's license and that's a license that lets you uh, take command of the vessel with passengers on um, and it tests pretty much like a driving test you've got to take the vessel out and demonstrate that you know what to do in all the situations so such as a man overboard, fire on board, if you lose an engine, an abandoned ship. On a normal day you're, uh, you're just dealing with uh, dealing with customers, getting people where they need to be, uh, you see the regulars, you get them to work every day. There's a lot of training to be prepared for the things that might go wrong but very rarely do. You know if everything's running right it's not, uh, it's not too demanding but um, it's quite rewarding. Working on the river, things can change every crossing. Some people say to me, do you ever get bored? And the answer to that is no, because every crossing is different. The tide can be different, the wind can be different, the swell conditions can be different. So not every day is the same. It can be anything that can be thrown at you, not just issues with the vessel. It can be outside things, like emergency situations. Information that the person that's in the water has now swimming water to the centre of the channel just to be. With the harbour master sell the dredge and stop. He's stopped off his own accord now. Can we move or not? We can't do, but we may have to, we may be asked to offer assistance. It's so dangerous though. Yeah, the currents in it. I'm amazed he hasn't been dragged under. You've got the crane on, we'll try and get him aboard if we can. Yeah, it's okay, I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, refused um, assistance off the. Um, Signature, signature centre label there. Yeah, you'll get him on him. Take me, yes, I'm stuck person on board the air convo, but I just want to bring more water to all my master's back to it. Oh, come in, come back. It's best I'm asking one of them. When I first got my boat master's license, I was 20. With my role now, I, I train the new ferry masters or the future ferry masters, people who set the boat master's license. So it's nice and refreshing that I can be part of it. The future now we're training up to get to a skip away. There's some people that can't be dream like I know it was my own dream to become a skipper of a vessel. So it's just nice being able to help.